Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making The King and I. Kind of a Thai cocktail mm -hmm. that we got from the folks at Puck Puck. In Portland. In Portland. They didn't actually give us the recipe. We had to figure it out again. We had to reverse engineer it. We're doing a lot, we do a lot of reverse engineering. Yes, we do. We should have some sort of reverse engineering degree. <laughs> Whenever someone says... Uh, like they're studying, you know, to become an engineer. Mm -hmm. I always think of like what I say, what locomotive, right? You know, yeah. You gotta have a lot of skill to run one of those huge trains. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Well, a lot of the big boats, they all have engineers. They call them the engineer on there. That's the guy yeah. that runs the engine and everything. Yeah. All right. Fixes it on the high seas. You don't want to be stranded out there. No. <laughs> but you might be all right if you have a little bit of what. Ginger. Ginger and <laughs> Mekong. Right. Mekong is a Thai rum. Yeah. Well, often it'll be called a Thai whiskey, but it's actually made with uh, sugar cane. So yeah. It'd be a People rum. always call it Thai whiskey. Yeah. It's not whiskey. No. It's a sugar cane rum. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of rice distillate in it and some herbs, but it's very light. To me, it's um, more nutty than anything else, kind of. Man, I mean, that's, that's all I get on the nose and the taste is nuttiness. Mm -hmm. I guess it takes one to know one, right? Well, what but kind of nut are you? I am a nut. <laughs> you sounded just like... Um, you sounded like Barbara Walters <laughs> when she asked Jimmy Carter. I think it was Barbara Walters, yeah. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? <laughs> I mean, what kind is of that question where that is that? Comes from? <laughs> yeah. No, she asked him that. If I was a nut... I don't know what I would be. It wouldn't be a cashew. Because those are always, like when you're at the bar, those are always already gone. Because people seek out the cashews. Yep, they do. Yeah. I go that would be a good them. pistachio. Pistachio. I like pistachios. That's good. That's good. I don't know what kind of tree I would be, so don't ask, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this features uh, the Mekong, two ounces, some lime juice, and some ginger syrup. Mm -hmm. we, may, we have our own here that we're going to use. But when we don't have it made, we'll just use some store-bought kind. Yeah. And we do have a video you can watch on how to make the, the ginger syrup. It is hilarious, like most of our videos. Of course. If we were making a Barbara Walters, well, it'd be easier to make a Jimmy Carter cocktail because we could have something with peanuts in it. Right. Barbara Walters, I don't know what you put in it. <laughs> Botox? Do you think she does Botox? I don't know. Because she is old. I haven't seen her in a while. Oh, yeah. She's she old and she around? looks... Good. You can tell she's gotten shorter. Yeah, she's still around. But she's like has very good skin, I think. All right. Let's begin. Yeah, let's make it. Two ounces of Mekong. Named after the Mekong River, which sort of meanders all the way down Southeast Asia, through most of Asia, I think. All right. Oh, that's me. It's you. Three quarter ounces of lime juice. Need the lime. You know where the Mekong goes? No. Where does it go? <laughs> it just kind of peters down. It starts up in Tibet, the Tibetan Plateau. It kind of meanders down China, Laos, and then kind of on the Laotian Thai border. I don't know if it goes through Burma or not. Burma. Where's Myanmar? It's either it used to be called Myanmar and now it's Burma or it's the other way around. And then through Cambodia and Vietnam. Half ounce of ginger simple syrup. Mm -hmm. And then out into the South China Sea. I don't know that region real well. No, we have to go there. The Yellow River from China flows into the Mekong. The Chinese say you put a bucket in the Yellow River and you come out with half a bucket of water and half a bucket of sand. <laughs> it looks like, this is what the Yellow River looks like. There you go. Yeah. All right. So we're going to add some ice. Shake this up. Want to put one ice cube in the glass? That's not even going to fit in there. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. There we go. Wow. That's an odd-shaped uh, ice cube there. I know. Do you know why manhole covers are round? Why? No, do you know? This is not I a joke. This I don't is know. true. Why are they round? 
Why aren't they square? I don't know. That's a good question. Oh, really? Yeah. Because a round manhole cover will never fall in. Oh, okay. Yeah. A square one will. Yeah. Bring the square one up, tilt it a little bit. The guy down below is dead. Yep. <laughs> and they're heavy, too. Yeah. All right. We're going to do just a little bit of a lime. And I'm not even going to twist it. I'm just going to throw it in so it gives a little color. And there you have your king and I. Delicious cocktail. Best with greasy, spicy foods. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Cheers.